Okay, okay, okay. But, but, Miss Smith, help, help, I don't get it. What don't you get? I see how to find the GCF if it is just numbers. But as soon as you throw variables into it, my brain explodes. Can you give me an example? Okay, 16x squared plus 20x to the third. Now for just 16 and 20, the GCF is 4. When 16 equals 4 times 4, and 20 equals 4 times 5. But what do I do with the x squared and x to the third? No problem. What does x squared mean? Well, x squared means write x down twice and then multiply. Okay, so how many factors of x is that? Oh, that's two factors of x. Right. So what about x cubed? What's that? What does that mean? How many factors of x is there? Well, x cubed means write x down three times and then multiply. So x times x times x equals x. Oh, that's three factors of x. Okay, so what factors do x squared and x cubed have in common? Well, x squared has two factors of x and x cubed has three factors of x. So in common, they both have two factors of x or x times x equals x squared. Right. Now, go back to the start of the problem, 16x squared plus 20x cubed, and factor each term. Okay, 16x squared becomes 4x squared times 4, and 20x to the third becomes 4x squared times 5x. So, in factored form, 16x squared plus 20x to the third becomes 4x squared parentheses 4 plus 5x. Oh. Right. So, let's just remember an exponent is shorthand for telling you how many times a particular factor appears. Oh, that makes sense. Try this one. Factor 24, a to the fourth, b squared, d to the fourth, plus 80, a squared, b, c, d to the seventh. Hey, hey you. you! Yes, you! you. The, the person, person watching, watching this video. video. Hit pause, solve the problem, and, and then restart and check your answer. Did, Did you pause and solve? solve? Okay, for the straight number part, a is the GCF of 24 and 80. Now, taking each variable separately, for a, there are two factors of a in each term, a squared. For b, there is only one factor of b in each term. For c, well, that's not a common term. It's only in one of the terms. And then for d, there are four factors of d in each term, so d to the fourth. So 24, a to the fourth, b squared, d to the fourth, plus 80, a squared, b, c, d to the seventh, becomes 8a squared, b, d to the fourth, times 3a squared, b, plus 8a squared, b, d to the fourth, times 10c, d to the third. So in the end, it's 8a squared, b, d to the fourth, bracket, 3a squared b, plus 10, c, d to the third, close parentheses. Nicely done. Now for a tricky one. So factor negative 6, x to the tenth, y, z to the eighth, minus 8, x squared, y cubed, z to the sixth, plus 4x cubed, y to the 7th, z to the 3rd. Pause, Pause the video and, and try it on your own first. For the number part, negative 2 is the GCF. I chose negative 2 instead of just positive 2, so that the first term inside the parentheses would be positive. For the variable x, the highest number of factors of x that all terms contain is x squared. For y, y to the first is the highest for all terms. And z cubed is the highest. So, negative 2, x squared, y, z cubed, is the GCF. 
and negative 6 x to the 10th, y, z to the 8th, minus 8x squared, y to the 3rd, z to the 6th, plus 4x to the 3rd, y to the 7th, z to the 3rd, becomes negative 2x squared, y, z to the 3rd, parentheses, 3x to the 8th, z to the 5th, plus 4y squared, z to the 3rd, minus 2xy to the 6th, close there's, parentheses. There's a pattern for common variables. You factor out the lowest exponent of all of them. This comes straight from the definition of what a power is. Ciao, Ciao for now! now.